Welcome. I've added a new superpower, Swarm GPT, to Swarm Auto AGI. Let's just dive right in. We are going to ask it to launch a swarm with a message to create a four chapter outline for a ridiculously funny science fiction story about space alien whales and advance of artificial general intelligence. And Auto AGI has called a function call to start the swarm. Swarm is going to generate multiple system messages. This one is a seasoned science fiction author. Second one is a comedy writer. Third one is a futurologist. So while the swarm is working on the chapter's outline, let's dig deeper. So the auto AGI agent can launch multiple instances of itself. Also, it can launch itself with code interpreter or multiple instances of it. Now it can also call swarm GPT and multiple instances of it as well. If you want to find out more about Swarm GPT, just watch my video on communicating Swarm intelligence. And if you want to learn more about Swarm Auto AGI, I have a video about it as well. As we see, we have started the feedback loop. Now the Swarm is communicating, and its outputs are written here into the Space Whale Chronicles. All the responses from parallel GPT calls are written here, along with their respective system messages. And the second iteration has begun, and we have written the first iteration into a JSON file as well. So they are communicating on what they have written and trying to improve upon the chapter outlines by swarming. The second iteration is also written. So to accomplish these feats, Auto AGI have many tools. It can read files, write files, append to files, create directory, list files. You can call the code interpreter. This is the open interpreter, and it can start itself, and it can also call the swarm, which is the GPT swarm file right here. Okay, and finally, we've got our synthesized response. Here are the chapters, uh, the Cosmic Whale Song, the Skeptic AI, and the Cat Army, Arrival of the Constellants, Interstellar Friendship, and Farewell. Now we are going to ask Auto AGI to launch multiple instances of itself, each of which is going to write the individual chapter of our short story. But let's just type in help and see what available commands uh, are here for us. For example, we can add a system message and remove system message. We're going to add a new system message. We're going to add, you're a world-class science fiction writer with mixed style of Hemingway, Arthur C. Clarke, and Isaac Asimov, and Albert Camus. New system message added. We're going to switch to multi line input and we are going to give it an instruction to read the synthesized response, which we were looking at earlier. Start as many auto AGI instances as there are chapters. You have to instruct each one to read that synthesized response and write file to uh, appropriate, uh, take appropriate file name with a creatively expanded version of the chapters with at least 300 words. So when we, when we start this, it's going to read this file. It read the file with a function call, and now it's going to send a message to start another instance of Auto AGI. There we go. It's going to start a command prompt, start the Auto AGI, input the uh, instructions, and then it started to read the uh, synthesized response and it started to write the chapter one. In the background, it's continuing to call a second Auto AGI. And this one, hopefully, is going to write to the second chapter. We'll see. Okay, I'm not going to pause the video so we can see this in full. Here we go. Let's see. This is going to start writing the second chapter, and the third instance have launched automatically. Hopefully, this one is going to write uh, the third chapter. I mean, this is really marvelous to watch for me, anyway, and I hope you find it fascinating as well. As you see, it's going to write the third chapter. And this one should start writing the fourth chapter. Code files for Swarm Auto AGI with Swarm GPT superpowers will be available for AI architect level. But the original uh, Auto AGI is available at the $30 tier. I just want to remind you that I have over 120 very interesting GPT related projects. So if you do choose to become a Patreon member, then you'll be uh, supporting me to produce more videos and code files like this. And plus, you can, uh, you'll can have access to all the code files for these projects. And as you see, the original Auto AGI says that all tasks are successfully completed. Each chapter 
of the Space Whale Chronicles will be creatively expanded into a detailed and engaging version of at least 300 words. So uh, we could actually. So the first one is done, as you see, and it has written chapter one. Okay, chapter two is done as well. So we can close these. We can continue using them, but we're going to close them because they are done. Chapter three and four are still working. Chapter three is done. And we have chapter three. And uh, we can close it. Chapter four is almost about to be done. And it's done as well. So now we have all four of the chapters to our short story. As you see, they're quite long. We can actually read them. Maybe at the end, we'll, we'll take a look. So I just want to say that what we've done is we've asked AutoAGI to start an instance of Swarm GPT, which creates multiple system messages for a particular task and makes parallel calls to GPT for as many system messages, for as many rounds as you specify. And you can specify each model for uh, system message generation, answer generation for iterating and for synthesizing a final response. So this is what we did. And when we ran this, we got the outline, uh, not the outline, but we got the responses here. And then we got a synthesize response, which then we used to call four instances of auto AGI, which then automatically wrote and expanded on all the chapters like this. So now we have a full short story. Other powerful things you can do with auto AGI is you can start a code interpreter. You see, we'll start a code interpreter. Here we go. Uh, but you know, you're, we usually start the code interpreter with a, a specific purpose. For example, you can say start a code interpreter. For example, I can ask it, start a code interpreter and ask it to write a fib.py file. And it'll start the open interpreter. And then this will actually carry on tasks. Code interpreter can also run uh, files and debug them. So it's going to write some function. It's going to ask us to execute it as well. It's asking us if we want to execute this code. Uh, and then we have executed it and we have written this uh, into a file, as you see. And after code interpreter is done, then we go back to auto AGI. We can, for example, ask it to start two other auto AGIs. It'll go ahead and do that for us. Here is the first one. And when it's launching auto AGIs, please don't interfere with the command prompt because of the way that I've actually handled this. Uh, it's using PyAuto GUI to insert some commands here. But after they're initiated, then you can move them around. Anyway, so now uh, we have, it actually started another one. And all steps completed. So we have now four versions of auto AGI, which we can separately control. One is in our Visual Studio code. And three of them we just launched. This was extra from before uh, to use as we please. Uh, I've added some new commands. As you see, you can reset the message history. You can switch to multi-line input. We can switch between models. We just switch to 3.5. Then we can switch back to GPT-4. We can add and remove system messages. Uh, so when you add a system message, you add a system message at that point in the conversation. Maybe if you want to prime the model to do something else other than its original system message. The original system message still stays. It's very, that's why it's very simple and basic. So you can use this functionality to modify it. This is its, its original system message. And that means say remove system message. It will remove the last system message. So this way you can add multiple system messages and keep removing them as you desire. Thank you for watching. Like I said, the code for Auto Swarm Auto AGI with the newest upgrades was available at Patreon as always. Uh, and don't forget to visit Echo Hive AI Academy to search and find all my videos. It's www.echohive.live. You can find the code download links there as well. 
I have almost 200 projects now. I just have to update the website to reflect that. And if you like building with GPT and would like to chat about it, please join our Discord. Uh, link will be in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.